Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. So yeah, I'm back and um, I want to talk to you guys more about um, the black males. And I want you to understand that the topic of conversation is not chosen to uh, beat up on our black males, but to get those that are unconsciously walking through life awaken to consciousness. So this is our ad and our um, add in or contribution to their awakening because this is a serious thing. So I did a recording on um, the male penis. Um, that was to get the attention of the populace concerning men and their idea of their thoughts of their sexuality being their manhood and given an understanding to women uh, of color that the reasons why we don't work out with black men in most cases is because they have a um, lack of emotion when it comes to the relationship that they don't even know uh, in, in most cases is comes from their upbringing, which is stemming from um, centuries of our ancestors' um, demise. Uh, it takes a lot of work and research and learning to understand this, but we're going to get there, men and women. So when you choose a black woman, black man, understand the pain and the suffering on each side of the families. Now, this doesn't have to do with a family that did not suffer, all right? If you have a perfect family, then this may not be something that you want to listen to. You could pass it to a friend or a neighbor that's going through that are in the black population because the recording is to help families in the black population. This is not about Black Lives Matter. It's about the families that have been suffering Suffering for centuries. We have many young men and women that are having babies together. There is um, abuse going on, which is the topic today, abuse. And the reason why these relationships come together and they become mm, sexually inclined or um, a part of their lives is because People believe that sex is the way. That is not it, okay? We got to get another dynamic of understanding, which I said yesterday um, on goal setting, starting off being friends. So moving forward, after you've had sex, then you're familiar with each other, but you don't know each other. The next thing is, is that there is a level of abuse because in most cases, we don't even know how to help one another. We've been in relationships where there's been physical, verbal, mental, and spiritual abuse. And so we don't know how to help each other. And the best thing for a black man or a black woman is to learn those things that you don't know, like budgeting, or um, if you don't know how to read, go back to school and read. Because even a person that is um, ignorant or cannot read is embarrassed by that, you know? So embarrassment goes a long way and that same embarrassment can turn into um, a, a physical abuse. So I went on and um, I looked up statistics because I, I, I don't like to bring up abuse in that nature without getting, you know, some information and so you can go to very well mine but it says black and hispanic couples are two to three times more likely to report male to female and female to male partner violence than white couples um, alcohol plays a role in the increased risk of violence especially among black couples now you know Personally, I have a problem with people hitting on people. It could be dear to me because my mother was abused physically and my grandmother. So that's two um, generations of women that were abused. Now, from my father's point of view, abusing my mother, I could see where my temperament could turn into an abuse cycle towards a man. Um, however, 
uh, I learned how to control my temper by meditation. These are some of the methods you can use. I feel like a male that is verbally, and I'm going there with the males. We'll talk about the women um, later or at another time. A male that is abusing a woman has no uh they have no substance. Uh, I want to say that you're a coward. Why? Because what man is going to put down a queen that identifies with his mother? Now, I'm going to go there. I'm going to say that if you can put a woman down, if you can hurt a woman in any way, that means that there are some problems between you and your mother. And so that means that you need to go get some help or identify with your mother. Maybe talk to your mother about the issues that you feel within yourself that you're taking out on that woman. Now, I know that the men might say, well, what about what she did? I'm not talking about what she did right now because I want to identify with men that didn't have mothers growing up or that their mother didn't nurture them and they take out violence on the woman that they're with. That woman that did not deserve you to hit her, to call her a B, that woman that you even spoke verbally, physically hit her in front of your children. That's who I want to talk to. Who gave you the right to hit her? She didn't do it. She didn't hurt you. It was your mama. Whatever your mother lacked in your unconsciousness, your memories, whatever she didn't give, that's something that you need to go take up with her. And it brings to mind those that were adopted. All right. If you were adopted, you definitely have other um, areas that you can go into for healing, such as therapy, even the person that grew up with the mother and they didn't like their mother or they feel like their mother didn't supply them what they need. You can get therapy. You don't need to hide behind the shadow, hide behind the mask and, you know, verbally, physically, mentally abuse your wife and then allow your children to see it. Why? Why? Why would you go get help? And why wouldn't you do this? Why would you stop it? Because it's a cycle. And what kind of power do you feel speaking as you do to a woman that is degrading her, breaking her down? What is it in your mind that actually makes you feel good about it? Because after you're done, you're going to go back and apologize, right? And she's going to accept you in most cases until she gets tired or until you've hurt her so much that she can't physically do anything else. What What's going to bring a solace or a peace to this relationship? That's my question. Because there are some women that will not tolerate it. And those same women that wouldn't tolerate it would be the very catalyst for that black man's demise. Do you feel what I'm saying? Now, I feel passionate about it because I feel like I want the brothers to hear what I'm saying. It's something wrong when you meet a woman that has nothing to do with your background and you bring suffering into her life. Rather than bringing suffering into her life, why don't you just let her go? Because see, when you start building a family, now what you got is another cycle, I said, of suffering for children. Did you think about the children or are you just thinking about your self-centeredness and what you want? The temperament, the, the battering, the hitting of a physical body. Oh, then I go into some of these dudes have hit a woman and broken her and she is dead in her grave. They're inmates. Do you not think that this can happen to you? I'm going to ask you to stop. Why? Because it's going to save your life. It's going to save her life and it's going to save the children. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's a weak man that hits a woman. Now, let me just ideate this again. Let me tell you that my mother was battered by my father. My grandmother was battered by a man. Light, light-skinned women with black and blue marks. I remember them. This is not even personal because if a man had hit me, 
he would have to wait until the day and find his ass dead. I'm going to tell you that because I've seen enough of battering that there's no way a man would hit me. And we'll talk about that later. But I want you to think about what I'm saying, because statistically it says Hispanics and blacks. It's not in the white population as much as it is in Hispanics and blacks. So if you have Hispanic nature in you and you're hitting your wife and there was no real reason for that. I don't feel like there's really a reason. I mean, I do know that there's couples that batter each other. Both of y'all need to go get some help. I look at the children and I look at why the foundations of our relationships cannot work. And I already said too many of our relationships start off with sex. That is not the foundation. The foundation of a relationship starts off with friendship. You find out what you have in common and you can't just be with people that you know, you have something in common with, you're going to find some someone that's going to be an iron sharpened iron to you because it's going to become a stalemate when things are too nice. But at the end of the day, you set goals in your relationship where you're going. And if you got anger issues, you go get some help. That is the word for the day. You start doing some self-help because there is nothing right with you going to work and coming home. People at work see you as a nice young man and you come home and you raising all kind of hell. I've seen that in my family. I've seen it in my house. And I'm speaking out because it's time. Time for freedom from that, time for liberation. And it's time for us to set legacies for our children, the young ones, my grandchildren, to grow up where they don't have to see the battering that you and I did. If you're angry with your father, then you take it up with him because he was not there. If you're angry with your mother, then you take it up with her because she was not there. Do not take it out on innocent people. Now we can go into a little bit further um, talking about women and men that's battering each other. But I had to get that out because black men are notorious for hitting and they don't even understand that they're taking up a mindset from centuries of mastering uh, from the white men, white slave masters. Do your history. Stop just being. Understand why you operate the way you do. Understand why you function the way that you do, black man. Okay? And y'all have a wonderful day blessings. Oh, my email address again is ifwbuilders at gmail.com so that you can email me back. I know it's going to be some people that don't like what I'm saying, but it's going to be a lot to love because in the midst of it, I'm not just coming on here talking. I'm praying about it. And yeah, there's an anger, but I am pushing my anger into something productive, which means that I'm speaking out and I'm saying no more violence. Stop hitting these women. And then police brutality on black women. Stop it. See, we got a heavenly father and mother. We got heaven's gate open right now, the lion's gate. And I'm calling in protection for our women and number one for our children. Who gives you the right to show that that messed up ancestry work? in this time and day with your children and your grandchildren. You should be ashamed of yourself just because of them. Go get some help. 